hello everyone welcome back to the mongodb tutorials in this video we are going to discuss about some of the essential features of mongodb so uh, the reason why we are uh, covering this video is uh, to just make you aware of the fact that uh, this mongodb is actually a very important uh, no sql database and its importance can be attributed from the fact that it is a part of two very popular stacks that is the mon stack and the mean stack so mon stack and the mean stack is a stack of applications that is used to develop uh, web based applications uh, so if we talk about mean stack it has the tools like mongodb express.js angular.js and node.js to develop the uh, web applications and so is the mon stack okay apart from this there are other uh, technology stacks available as well so you can do a bit of research for yourself and find out the importance of mongodb okay so why is mongodb so popular this is what we are just trying to explore in this video through the number of the features uh, that we have in mongodb mongodb is not just a simple uh, no sql database it is the most popular no sql database as of now and this fact can be attributed to these different features. The first one is that it supports ad hoc queries. So what is this ad hoc query? This means that the queries uh, in which we can just search for the data based upon the field, uh, based upon the range of the data. And if you have to search for a particular thing or particular name then you can provide regular expressions as well so it is not just that uh, you can uh, use some kind of things like just the uh, wildcard characters uh, or anything like that that was available in rdbms you want to perform a thorough search you can just use the regular expressions as well um, then the second feature is the feature of indexing. That means uh, there are a number of fields in the document. Uh, when there are a number of fields in the document, then we can index any of the fields very easily. The third feature is replication. MongoDB supports something that is known as the master slave replication. Now, what is this master slave replication? What happens is there are two things. One is a master. The other is a slave. Okay. So the master can perform the operations such as the read and write operation. While what does the slave does? It copies the data from the master and can also uh, read the data, but it cannot just write the data okay so basically there are two sets of permissions given the read permission and the write permission the write permission is only given to the master but the read permission is only given to the slave write permission is never given to the slave because it is just like the slave does not have those kinds of opportunities those kinds of permissions as a master does so this is the kind of the replication that is possible through mongodb and uh, the slave can also create a backup of the data. He can read the data, but can never write the data. So it gives extra sense of security over your data that no uh, random user can come and just perform operations or just change your database. Then duplication of data. So basically what happens is MongoDB can run over multiple servers. The data uh, that is uh, created in one server can easily be duplicated into other servers so that the system uh, is uh, running in case of any kind of a hardware failure. Apart from that, everyone who is working on the different servers uh, can just access the same database depending, uh, not only depending on the location of the server, but uh, also the number where the data is stored okay then we have load balancing so uh, what is load balancing in mongodb we have an automatic load balancing configuration the reason why uh, we are getting this is because the data is placed in shards we have the data that is stored in documents right 
so these documents can be like multiple documents and there is no definitive structure in the case of the data organization in mongodb so the concept of load balancing ensures that whatever data we are trying to work with it is actually balanced in uh, chunks and is organized in a well defined manner Uh, apart from this mongodb supports map reduce and the aggregation tools as well it uses javascript instead of the procedures so if you have a knowledge of javascript or if you are just trying to build applications based on javascript then you don't need to uh, just spend your time and learn anything else you can just simply use javascript to organize your data as well what more you can ask for right so this is exactly the reason why mongodb is used and it is used in uh, st uh, technology stacks as well to develop web based applications from the javascript it is a schema less database that is written in c++ so c++ is actually the language in which mongodb is writ uh, written so you don't need to have knowledge of c++ to work with mongodb but it is a schema less database that means there is no definitive structure of the data there is no kind of a, a table there is no kind of a rows or a columns that are present to just organize the data in mongodb uh it provides high performance as compared to rdbms or olap databases that we have already discussed over and over again so i cannot stress enough on the fact that mongodb is a better performing database than anyone else it can store files of any size without complicating your stack so basically that is the uh, most you can say uh, that is the most advantageous feature of mongodb basically whatever your file size is it doesn't matter in mongodb uh it is not going to complicate your whole stack of the data it is just going to take that file and just load balance it so that is why uh, mongodb is preferred with the data of humongous size that is why it is uh, used to deal with big data it is easy to administer in the case of failures as compared to the other databases such as rdbms and olaps because it regularly creates the replication uh, the duplication of the data it regularly duplicates the data regularly creates the backup of the data that is why in case of any failure you can just administer that failure and recover that data from a different server apart from this mongodb also supports the different things such as json data model with dynamic schemas that means there is no fixed structure you can easily just organize the data in a form of a key and a value pair and store it in a document uh then we have auto sharding facility for horizontal scalability horizontal scalability is one of the most important features of mongodb this we have already discussed so uh this horizontal scalability is done through auto sharding then uh, we have built in replication for higher availability of the data this we have already discussed uh in replication of uh, which uses the master slave concept nowadays uh, many companies are using this mongodb database to create new types of applications to improve their performance and uh, increase the availability of your of their data to the end users so uh that is why um mongodb is considered one of the best databases nowadays so um before proceeding with this tutorial i hope that you have some basic knowledge of uh, the concepts of sql and oops because if you have that conceptual knowledge then it would be easier for you to understand the concepts that i would be telling you so although this tutorial is designed to help beginners as well as professionals so everything would be taken from the very basic but if you have some knowledge then obviously it would be a plus point for you so that's all for the explanation videos from the next video onwards we will uh, just see then how can we uh, work with mongodb how can we install it and that's all for this video